Hi, this is Kathy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a PowerPoint 2011 presentation from a Word outline. I'd like you to create this presentation after you've done the PowerPoint basics assignment and read the planning and creating great presentations chapter and building a PowerPoint presentation chapter in your textbook. Those are chapters 18 and 19. Here's an outline of Microsoft Word, and this is an outline of part of Chapter 18 from your Office 2011 for Mac, The Missing Manual. So you notice right here, Planning and, planning and Creating Great Presentations, that's going to be your, your title slide. And then right here, Planning the Presentation, that's this from this section right here from your, in your textbook, delivering the presentation, again right here in your textbook, and presentation hardware right here in your textbook. These are headings. I'm going to click right here on planning and creating great presentations. And on styles, if you look over here on styles, notice it says heading one. When you're creating PowerPoint slides from an outline, your text needs to be set up in headings. This is heading 2. You can kind of tell from the size of the text and then this plus sign. This is also a heading 2, if you look right over here. And then presentation hardware is heading 2. And then text indented under each one of those sections, these are heading 3. And if I had something indented below these, those would be heading 4. In PowerPoint 2011 for the Mac, to import a word outline, you have to save it as a rich text file. So file, save as, and then make sure that you change this to RTF, rich text format. Now go into PowerPoint and you'll create a new presentation. On the home tab, on the slides group, click the new slide arrow, come down and click insert slides from outline, navigate to your, your outline, this is it right here, this RTF mean that means that this is a rich text format, click insert, and PowerPoint puts the text on one slide, we're going to have to mod modify this slightly. This is called normal view, you have three window panes, over here you have your slides and outline tabs, this is your slide pane right here, and then this is your notes pane. So I want to come over to the outline. This is where we're going to modify this. Right here, this is slide one. Right now, this is blank. But I'm going to delete slide one so I can move everything up. I just press delete on my keyboard. Okay, now everything's on slide one. That's not really what we want. So now we're going to just slightly modify this outline so we can organize the slides. And hopefully you've read about demoting and promoting in your textbook. That's how we're going to edit this in the outline. We want planning the presentation to be on its own slide. So we need to promote. There's a couple ways you can do this. You can press shift tab or you can come up on the in the paragraph group and you can click this button right here, decrease indent. So notice how that is now slide two. Over here in the slide pane, you can see that. And if you come down to the status bar, down here it says slide two of two. Great, now we're gonna do the same thing with delivering the presentation. So I'm gonna click anywhere on this line, in the outline. I'm gonna come up here on the home tab in the paragraph group, and I'm gonna decrease the indent. Again, that's called promoting. And I'm gonna do the same thing down here with presentation hardware. Okay, so now you have four slides. What you're going to have to do on the first slide, click in the slide pane and type your name. You can type by, I'm going to type by Kathy Van Pelt. And then you're going to click off that. You want to change this layout to a title slide layout. So on the home tab on the layout command, click it and choose this first first option, title slide. There, that looks much better. All right, and then let's go to slide two, planning your presentation. When you edit these slides, I want you to follow a few few guidelines. I'd like you to, 
to um, use the 7 by 7 rule. That means no more than 7 words per paragraph and no more than 7 lines per slide. I'd like you to add a theme to your presentation and add a picture or a clip art image. To add a theme on the ribbon, click Themes. So here are your themes here. This presentation is formatted with the very first theme with the white background. That's the default theme. To change to a theme, you just click it. You can't notice the theme in the Outline tab, so if you click the Slides tab, you'll notice that all the slides now have that theme. When you point to a theme, the name of the theme shows in a little tip. This button here lets you scroll through the themes. And if you click this down arrow, you can see all the themes. And they are in uh, categories. So this up at the top says this presentation. That's what this presentation is, how it's currently formatted. Custom theme. This is just a theme that I created doing an exercise. These are built-in themes here, and then you can browse for themes. So I'd like you to choose a theme that you think is appropriate for this presentation. You can scroll through your slides in many ways. You can click on each one of these slides, and when you click on a slide, you see the slide in the slide pane. You also can do that in an outline. If you click on one of these slide icons, you can see the slide in the slide pane. I'm going to choose a different theme. Again, you can just kind of scroll through these. Clicking on slide 3 to see what it looks like with the theme, and there's slide 2 as well. Okay, now what I suggest that you do is get out your textbook. In the planning the presentation section, you can go through here and you can, after reading this, you can add some more information to your slides. If you were to elaborate further on each one of these, you actually could make a new section for each one of these slides. For instance, I'm going to add a new slide after slide 1. I'm going to make it a section header. So I'm going to call this section Planning the presentation. And then you can choose whether you want to add text in this placeholder or not. If you leave it like this, when you run the presentation, nothing will show. So you can leave it there, or if you don't want to type anything, you can actually just click it and you could delete it if you like. So if, the, if you had a lot of things to say about the goals of your presentation, you can make that its own slide. An easy way to do that would be to come into the outline, click anywhere on this line, the goals of your presentation, and promote it. So that it's a new slide. So here you would have your section slide. You would no longer need this slide. And I'm going to make Know Your Audience own slide. Okay, great. Alright, so now let's go back to slide 3. To create text on a slide, you, you can create it in the outline or you can click here and type on your slide. So look through your book and, and re read this section, the goals of your presentation, and include some of these in here. Now, you don't have to, these are examples. You would type what your goals would be for your presentation. Now, that would be different for every person. So you would click on the slide and just type some of your goals. And make sure that you're consistent with your punctuation. It's common not to end your sentences with periods because sometimes you're not even including full sentences. So I just type gain knowledge or skills, take action, and understand a new concept. The next topic, know your audience. So go back to your book and see what you can say about your audience. The next is tailor the presentation to the audience. If you don't think that you can create a whole slide from each of these topics, you don't have to. You could take this Know Your Audience back here and add it to add it to these topics and then just change this heading because that's part of this section right here. So this is an option that you again that you can create sections for these slides. 
I'm going to make Know Your Audience. I'm going to demote it. Right now it's a slide title. Demoting is the opposite of promoting. I can use the tab key or I can come up on the home tab in the paragraph group and I can click increase indent to demote it. So now we have we have eight lines on here so this is really too many. So you're going to want to edit this. I want a new slide right after understanding a new concept. So an easy way to do that in the outline is click at the end of the last bulleted paragraph and press enter. That makes a new bullet and then you promote that. This basically is going to be letting the presentation continued. Okay, let's go to slide one. That's the title slide. This is a section slide, so this is letting the viewer know that this is the planning the presentation section. Okay, this is a title and content slide. Here's the title, here's the content. And this is the planning the presentation continued slide. This could be a new section delivering the presentation and you could make a new section for this presentation hardware. It just depends on how you want to lay this out. I would like you to insert a, a picture or piece of clip art. So you can choose the slide to do that. Make it sure that it's appropriate. Now if you happen to put it on this slide, what would what do you think would be an appropriate image? Perhaps a picture of a laptop or a projector or even a remote control. How would you do that? On the home tab, you can click picture. You can use the photo browser, picture from file, clip art browser, clip art gallery. I'm going to click photo browser. Okay, so this is searching for photos in the photo browser, clip art browser. Right now it's showing all images. You could break this down into category. Here's business. Here's a picture of a laptop. So that would be an appropriate image for the slide because this slide's talking about laptops, projectors, and remote controls. What do you think would be an appropriate image for this slide. I don't want you to put an image on every slide. I just want you to think about this. Uh, you could perhaps, if you had an image of an audience or somebody giving a presentation, that would be appropriate. And then I want you to save your presentation. So up here, you're going to name it. Let's call it Planning the Presentation. Here's the format. This is the default format. PowerPoint uses the extension PPTX. PowerPoint 2011 does. PowerPoint 2010 for Windows uses the same extension. Create a folder, if you haven't already done so, called the PowerPoint Basics folder and save it in there. Click Save. And then submit that for grading. You don't have to use the outline to create the slide. You can create the whole thing, all the text yourself. But I want it to be based on Chapter 18, Planning and Creating Great Presentations. So this section here. In Chapter 19, Building a PowerPoint Presentation, you learn how to choose a template, how to add slides and choose layouts, Writing the outline, I've created an outline for you. This explains how to work in an outline. I showed you some of that in this video. This part explains how to use slide, ma slide masters. When you would like to make a global change to your presentation, for instance, let's say you'd like to change the slide titles for all your slides, you'd want to do that on a slide master, and it cha will change all slides. And for every new slide that you make in that presentation, it'll use that format from the slide master. In summary, after completing the PowerPoint Basics assignment and reading chapters 18 and 19 in your textbook, create a presentation based on what you learned. Your presentation should be at least six slides. Follow the 7x7 seven seven rule, add a theme, and add an image. If you have any questions, send me an email. Thank you.